Okay, YouTubers, so let's do a little reflecting. Pawn shop find. Uh, I got got it running. It 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 ran. I got some wood cut. Um, after about three tanks, it wouldn't crank. So, um, you know how it is when you're trying to figure out something. You know it's uh, uh, well, I've I've got to put these in. Everything else is done. Um, so I, I lost my train of thought when I saw that. So uh, I arrived that. What I needed to do was I, I, I lifted up the engine and I could see that the engine did not look healthy. That there was, it was a gelatinous tan mess un, underneath it. So I took the top off of it and, uh, you know, it was, it was terrible. I mean, you can look at that piston, you know, it was... And this is cleaned up. So, um, I took it apart and I cleaned it up and I still do not know what that stuff was. And I've asked other people, I've shown the public, I've talked to people in private, I still haven't been able to figure out, you know, what it was. Um, so okay so you know moving right along uh i ordered a new piston and i got an oem piston and when i was putting the rings on one of the the rings just it broke um very much like the ring did for me on the 070 when i was putting i mean it felt very soft uh, so okay, so then um, I said, okay, well, I'll just uh, I'll just order some more rings, and so I said, well, what I'm going to do is I've got a I've got an OEM uh, cylinder, so that should be able to to take the uh, caper rings, and I knew that they weren't going to disintegrate in my hands, so uh, I, I bought some caper rings and. Uh, the rings came to me as 42 and a half millimeter uh, and the merchant was great you know they refunded my money uh, so I went to another merchant because they said they didn't have any that that's what they had uh, and uh, th this merchant I've dealt with in the past and uh, he sent me uh, O-rings that said on the container that they were cabers and that they were 42 and a half, I mean 42. And now, I don't know if you've ever tried to put a 42 and a half millimeter ring in a cylinder that takes 42. I mean, you know, I was doing this. I was going on that these people knew what they were doing and, and they knew what their stock was. And I mean, my hands were so sore. They were, they were close to bleeding. Before, it dawned on me that this is wrong. This is the wrong size. Well, that second set um, were actually not cabers. They did not, that um, caber rings are branded. You can look, you know, towards the end where they meet and they have cabers uh, branded in the ring. So I was really disappointed. This guy did, too, did not know what he was selling. I think that that nobody cares anymore. You know, they're, they'll, you know, they're after the dollar and... You need to be careful, you know, and, and, and watch what you're, uh, you're buying. And please don't let them buy with selling you the wrong thing because it's just going to get worse. I mean, the Chinese have, 
have went from trying to be good um, soft citizens to um, you know to just not caring uh, so the third time uh, the fella sent me cable rings and I want to tell you, they just went right in, you know, because this, the way the cylinder is made, it's made so you don't need um, things like this. This is a, uh, a little uh, belt that goes around, for instance, an 029. Um, and, you know, assist you in, in, in getting it in, but... You don't need it on on this. Uh, so, the, you know, that went in and here we are, you know, and then I'm assembling the saw and get to the get to the uh, coil and my uh, holes wallered out from, I guess, from it being removed so many times. Um, or maybe it was loose for so long and it was back and forth that it wallered it out. You know, it's hard, hard to tell on that. So, uh, the, uh, whatever was in the contents of that engine also stopped up the impulse line. That's why it wouldn't start. Um, so that... In, in my saw building in the last year, that has become a major theme is the impulse channel when you're working with an aftermarket saw or an older saw. Is uh, while you have the handle in your hands and you're working with it, cleaning it up, getting ready to reassemble it, um, well, you may not clean them up. I'm, I've seen guys that just, you know, they just don't care they but as far as that impulse goes you should clean clean that area and make sure that tunnel is open and i used a piece of uh fishing line thick fishing line uh that was uh malleable enough to you know uh take a corner and and i could tell that that it was free and clear so that that's the insight so far uh, on, on this saw and uh, so anytime if, if I were to buy another one that would be a question that I would I would I would want to know is if those holes that held the ignition coil in place if they were wallered out because if if, if they are you're gonna have a or if it's if, if they damaged it trying to fix it, you could have a leak, you know, because uh, that aftermarket leaked and I never did anything to the hole. Just, uh, just leaked. Okay, YouTube, I, I really enjoy what I do and I hope that I am able to be helpful and entertaining and, you know, whatever it is, uh, whatever you get out of it. But I appreciate you so much. Um, thank you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If any of my videos you like, please give a thumbs up. The Chainsaw Kit Guy out. Another one bites the dust.